when you look at some of the youth riders about 12 13 years old it's really the perfect proportion for them as well you would say so really great riders uh, great bikes for the youth riders and let's have a look at how they line up as uh, zach weston sits on pole position just ahead of reese stevenson in second luca allen in third daniel goodman fourth james mostica in fifth from kobe perry making up the front two rows Pete Hickman in 7th place from Andrew Thompson, Silver Mounsey in ninth, Tim Patterson 10th from Dominic Avola and Charlie Hopkins in 12th position. 13th is Tom McKenzie from Aaron Parker, Jack Knight's in 15th and further back we have Dervalane, last rider to present a lap time. Simon Bog with no time lining up in 18th position towards the back of the field. In fact that holds at the, the full lineup. Riders now on the line. I'm not sure if Simon Bog may be a non-starter possibly because we see Dervalane at the back there. Nobody really behind him. So it looks like we've got the 17 rider grid. We'll find that of course once they get back underway. There's Reece Stevenson in the uh, middle of the front row riding the Bucci machine of course in this mini GP style class. Right alongside him is 35 of Zach Weston. All eyes on the lights as we wait for the race to start and away they go. Stevenson with a good jump down the inside of Weston. Here they come charging into the first corner. Stevenson's got the line and takes the lead. Luca Allen with a good start. And of course, one or two of the Bucci Cup riders in there as well. So we'll look out for those riders when they make their way through. So Reese Stevenson, of course, running a Bucci machine, but uh, not listed as a Bucci Cup rider. So we'll find that out later on. Luca Allen on the 68. First of those Bucci Cup riders, uh, Zach Weston, the pole sitter, drops to second place. Uh, Stevenson gets a good start there. Jump around the outside, getting the power down, coming out of the center S's through the Brooklyn's hairpin. But look at Zach Weston in second place on the number 35. Hanging on in there, didn't get the best of starts. It was more, more a case really that Stevenson got a good start, I would say, rather than Weston getting a bad one. But he's right in there and a great move down the inside. As Zach Weston out of nowhere goes into the lead on the entrance to Carter's curve. That was a brave move. Reese Stevenson left half a gap and Zach Weston was right there to take it and he is back into the lead at the end of the first lap. Over the line they go, so Weston leads, Stevenson second, Allen third, Daniel Goodman fourth. It's James Mostica with a very good start up to sixth position. Pete Hickman drops to seventh. Kobe Perry dropping a couple of positions. He goes down to eighth position from Sullivan Mounsey. Dominic Evola, Aaron Parker, Tom McKenzie, Dervalane, and Jack Knights rounding up the field. Uh, so, oh, that's that Pete Hickman going down the inside of Mostica, possibly. That's definitely Pete Hickman with the it's like black turquoise coloured leathers, the number, familiar number 60. And Hickman now battling with, it looks like, Sullivan Mounsey. That very much looks like the sky blue machine of Mounsey, who loses out. Looks like Kobe Perry in there as well. And there's Hickman having a look down the inside as they make their way down towards Carter's curve. Has he made the move? It looks like he's gone through. Leaders now making their way towards the final corner. And it should still be Zach Weston. Yes, it is. But Reese Stevenson right in there in second. Here we go. It's a drag race down to the first corner. Stevenson's got the line. Hard on the braking. Takes the lead. And does he hold on? Yes, he did very well to bring the bike back under control there and stay on the racing line because Weston could easily have gone past. But he's not giving up. He's trying round the outside of Stevenson this time. Hasn't got the momentum and he stays in second place. So Reese Stevenson with a brave move down the inside. Retakes the lead on the number 23. So Stevenson, the new race leader. Bucci Cup riders denoted with the uh, the red symbol on your timing charts there. So Stevenson leads the way and in the Bucci Cup as well. Luca Allen just a little bit further behind on the 68 as Weston goes back into the lead. Going through Carter's curve. He does seem to like it on that part of the track. So back into the lead goes Zach Weston. Here they come up towards the final corner. Weston leads. Stevenson second. You can't write off Luca Allen or Daniel Goodman either. There they are, third and fourth. Oh, as uh, Stevenson gets a little tank slapper out of the corner. That might affect him going down the straight, but he's not giving up. Down the inside he goes once again. Look at that back wheel chattering under braking. Reese Stevenson really putting a lot of load on the front end of the bike. Takes the lead once again. Weston tries the outside once again. Gets the quicker drive out of the hairpin. And, of course, Reese Stevenson very deep into the corner. Does it? 
let himself be vulnerable, of course, losing the pace out of the hairpin. That's where Weston's trying to fight back, but Stevenson's got enough in the tank there to hold on to the lead. As a rider goes down in the midfield. Just trying to pick out who that rider is. Blue Leathers, the rider is walking away, though, so that's good news. I think it's one of the Bucci Cup riders. You can see the, uh, the red Bucci Moto banner the bottom of the fairings. Oh, look at that. Reese Stevenson is wise to Zach Weston. Shot in the inside there as they go through Carter's curve. Here they come round the final corner. This will be two laps to go. Here they come. Weston's got the run. This time it's going to be Weston who tries to have a go down the inside. This is another slip streamer. Stevenson's going to have the line into the corner again. Very late under braking. Keeps the line on the exit and holds on to the lead. So Zach Weston now trying to find a way through. I think that was Luca Allen that went down. The third place rider. Not showing on our lap chart. So Luca Allen, who was running in third, second of the Bucci Cup riders, appears to be out of the race. Let's hope it's nothing serious. Tumbling down the race order. So that means, of course, that Daniel Gubbins up to third as the red flag goes out. So... Uh, that was the incident, I believe, involving the third place rider, Luca Allen. So the red flag unfortunately flies. That was around the back of the circuit. Now we did see Allen walk away. There's, there he is on the side of the track. Hopefully just winded, but certainly the medic's not taking any chances and we'll go down there just to check that rider's okay. Uh, we did see Allen actually uh, walk away on the 68, but he's down there in the tyre barrier. And uh, let's, uh, let's hope it's nothing serious. Sometimes it does happen where the uh, runner's just winded. There he is and receiving some attention there from another. From the seventh, that might be James Mostiger, I think, possibly down there just tending to. And the medics are on their way to the injured rider. So fortunately he did walk away, but as you can see, I think he still requires some further medical attention. So medics out on the track now just to tend to, I believe, uh, Luca Allen. The race has been called and will run through the provisional race results. That will be a race win for Reese Stevenson. Winner of the Bucci Cup race, of course, as well. Zach Weston will finish in second place. And uh, he will win the uh, junior class as well, of course. Daniel Goodman third on the previous lap. So, of course, with that tumble from Allen, that means that Daniel Goodman will occupy the third position. Two and a half seconds down when the flag went out. Pete Hickman finishing in fourth position with that battle with Sullivan Manzi, who has to settle for fifth position. Kobe Perry in sixth. Andrew Thompson, 7th, James Mostica, 8th, Tim Patterson in ninth place, Dominic Evola rounding out the top 10 from Aaron Parker, Tom McKenzie in 12th, Dervalane in 13th position, Luca Allen credited with 14th at the flag, and Jack Knights rounding out the field. So, OMG Racing Mini GP draws to a close.